What's going on, smart people? I'm always asking you guys in the comment section to tell me things like how your classes are going or how you're liking your semester. And sometimes I get comments from people saying that you know they have a bad professor and they keep having to teach themselves certain material or they just had to teach themselves differential equations to keep up on their classical mechanics course. So today I want to talk a little bit about self-educating in physics. There's an old saying that goes, you should never let school get in the way of your education. You're, you're bound to have professors who who don't really do anything for you. And by that, I don't mean like giving you things. I mean, you don't really get anything out of their lectures and you find yourself having to do a lot of independent study to keep up with your classes. And if you found yourself in that position, I want to let you know that it's not going to stop there. And I want to convince you that that's not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I think it's a good primer for what's to come. I mean, what is a physics degree supposed to do? It's basically supposed to mold you into becoming a problem solver. And some of you are gonna take that skill even further and become physics researchers. But all this stuff that you learn in undergrad, all these problems you solve, are problems and is material that people have already figured out. And there's work solutions and a syllabus that you follow and designated chapters to read. But when it comes to actual problems that people haven't solved yet or questions that people haven't asked yet, you can't learn how to solve those kinds of problems if you haven't learned how to learn yet independently. The independent part is key because when, when you're teaching yourself something, you know that no one's gonna give you a test and then grade it so that you can objectively see how well you understand the material. You have to learn how and what will convince you that you understand the material and then move on. And that is a weird step. And you don't have to be doing a PhD to see how this is an important skill to have. I mean, say you're just doing a regular old research internship and you have to write a code to solve some equation because it can't be solved on paper. How do you know your code works if no one solved the equation before? You have to convince yourself that the code works or that it doesn't work. You have to learn how to create tests, how to see if it passes the test you move on. What tests does it have to pass such that you can convince yourself it is right and move on to the next step? Because in my experience, you can't just keep second guessing yourself and then move on. I mean, if your advisor comes to you at one point and says, so you got the code working and you go, I think so. That's not good enough. That's not good enough when they're signing their name off on your work. And it's also a process of not being overconfident. You can't just run into one hiccup later on after you've convinced yourself you're right and then be like, uh, oh, maybe maybe back there I messed up or or maybe the, the, the step before that. That was actually a little weird now that I think about it. And I'm really speaking from personal experience here because for my first internship, I had zero confidence. I had to teach myself how to code to solve an equation numerically and then once I got the results, I had to move on with them. And it was really scary since I had never really been in that situation to have to teach myself something that complete before. Now since then, I've gotten much better at researching things by myself and gaining that confidence. I don't know if there's ever a point where people just by second nature know the next step that it would take in order to just move on or know that their thing is wrong. I don't know if that's ever a point people reach. If anyone would know, it's probably people who are in the process or have completed their PhDs. So if you are a PhD student or you completed a PhD, please share your experience in the comments below. Really anyone who has experience with self-education, share your experience in the comments, and I'll see you guys there.